Welcome everyone to another Valheim Hardcore Top 10 Tips. This time we're looking at the plane's biome and how to survive in there with ease. For tip number 10 we have planes plan. Make sure before heading into the planes that you have everything prepared, especially if you play with no map and no portals. You will need extra arrows, extra food, extra meats, and of course, don't forget your forge with one other forge upgrade so you can repair far, far away from home. Also, a cart would be helpful too if you want to go inland, but I usually loot the base close to the ocean, which takes us to the next tip. For tip number 9, we have boat raids. Since for me getting raided by wolves on the plains is a big problem and a serious threat, I usually loot the bases close to the ocean. So I usually stay close to my boat to avoid going inland too much and expose myself to raids and mob swarms. For tip number 8, we have foxholes. Since I get raided every 10-15 minutes and monsters pack a ton of damage on the hardcore, I figured out a way to be safe and this is what I came up with. Building these structures every 50-100 meters or 164 to 368 feet away from each other will give you a chance to survive in case anything goes south, like getting raided or swarmed by enemies. To build them, make sure you have at all times 10 wood and around 40 to 50 stone in your inventory. Raise four pillars like this, use the hoe five times on each side and make sure there's a hole in the middle where enemies can't target you in case you get aggroed a fueling shaman or too many locks. For tip number seven we have easy fueling camps. There's just one way to approach fueling camps and that is with caution, of course. If you play the bow, use the huntsman bow to lure one or two enemies at a time, since the huntsman bow is way sneakier. Then shift to a high damage bow and frost arrows to make sure you slow them down really good. If you play the melee, I usually go for two-handed hammers and use their AoE to my advantage, but be careful. If you get swarmed, make sure you get into a foxhole and start using the hammer's AoE attack to your advantage. For tip number 6, we have easy stone structures. Although they are rare, you can sometimes spot them from a boat. If you do, Make sure you do investigate them, because some of them can have a Vegasevere that can lead you to Yagla's altar. So just keep an eye out for any unnatural stone formations. For tip number 5, we have avoid growth attacks. Now, even if most monsters in the plains on hardcore can be killed with ease, these obnoxious little fellas can pack quite a punch if you get too close to them. So if you really must get them, use a bow or make sure you lure them one by one, trust me. You don't want to get swarmed by two or three at a time. For tip number four, we have avoid shaman attacks. Another danger that looks like a wolf in sheep clothing is the fueling shaman. If by a chance you get hit by this little fella, no amount of fire resistance or armor will help you. His fire damage just shreds through your HP, so make sure you take them out from a distance or avoid them as much as you can. Make sure you pop an HP potion as soon as possible these small guys hit twice as hard as the feared Gyal. For tip number three, we have Root Harness. This is by far the most underrated piece of armor in the entire game. In the plains, one of your biggest threats are the deadly mosquitoes. You can delete your entire HP in two hits. Getting your hands on the Root Harness, which adds the Resist to Pierce damage buff to your arsenal, will turn the dreaded mosquitoes into normal mosquitoes, so make sure you have this armor in your inventory for your plane's exploration. For tip number two, we have Bow vs. Yagloth. The safest way to take on the boss is by making sure he's nice and tight caught in his arena, while you chill on a dirt pile and blast him with frost arrows from a considerable distance. This is how you get rid of this fella without breaking a sweat. And for tip number one, we have Melee vs. Yagloth. For any melee lovers in there, this is how I would take Yagloth on hardcore difficulty. Basically, you need a special arena for him. Make sure you build this arena with different sections where he can spawn in. After you summon him, he spawns in one of these sections, so just get yourself comfy in the opposite section and use an AoE hammer like the Iron Sledge to shred to his HP in a safe way. That's all I have for now, hope you find these tips useful for your next hardcore adventure. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all in the next video of our adventure. Be safe and stay alive!